this is going to be the Duke guide for you guys here. I'm going to go over the strategies, uh, where you should be positioned, and uh, see how this goes. You never know. I might get shit on. We'll see. All right, first thing I like to do, any good Duke, uh, destroy those chandeliers. Oh, it looks like I killed a teammate. Uh, I like to grab the Warhammer and a sword and a shield. And I like to keep this extra shield here as a little bit of protection in case this one breaks. But basically, you're not going to want to sit back here. If you watch my Rudd Helm guide, it's kind of the same thing. If you sit back here, that's where your teammates are going to be. And if your teammates are back here, the enemy is going to push up further than you want them to be pushed up. You want to basically be controlling this whole area and think to yourself, wherever I am is where my team is going to go. So if I sit over here on the left, my team's going to go to the left. If I go to the right, my team's going to go to the right. And I kind of want to fight with my team because if you think about it, you're the best player on your team since you got the high score. If you let your team do all the work, you're just going to, you know... If you let your team do all the work, that you're they're missing out on their best player. You can't sit in the back. You know, look at these guys. They're all pushing on the front. I don't want to go to like the front door because that'll happen. I'll get flanked. But you want to basically stay in this center area and move around as much as you can. They're gonna expect me to be up there. They're all gonna want to push. But see, I got a lot of teammates over here, so I'm gonna help them over here. And as soon as I start getting overrun on a certain side, we've got five people coming over here now. Now I'm going to start pushing back towards the throne a little bit. And uh, now that I'm pushed back towards the throne, I'll let my team do a little bit of the work over there. Getting a little overrun here. It's fine. You gotta stay calm in these situations. You can, if you really are getting overrun, you can sit in this back over here for like, you know, 15, 20 seconds. Once everyone's cleaned up, push back up again. Don't sit in the back. Don't be a, like uh, one of those guys, you know. Now that they're all cleaned up, we're gonna come, we're gonna be like nice and aggressive again. You wanna be aggressive when you're a VIP. You don't want to be overly passive or you're just going to get destroyed by fire pots. You got plenty of health. You just got to play smart. You got a good amount of group people going over there. So we're going to push on this side now. Nobody's over here. So I feel nice and safe. Once they see me over here, they're going to start pushing this direction. But for now, what? We got two people, three teammates. We're pretty safe here for now. Okay, this guy is trapping me in the corner. That's nice. But, you know, that side starts getting a little congested. I'm just going to run back over to this side. What are they going to do about it? Every single time I switch sides, they got to run through, like, another spawn wave of teammates. But if you notice, I'm not sitting in the back. I'm running around. Picking off kills where I can. I'm not like super playing on the front lines with my team, but I'm helping them out. This shield's about to break, so I'm going to go and grab a fresh shield. Push back up. I'm doing pretty good on health. I've taken a few hits. A little bit of fire. Oh, see, I got a lot of teammates over here, so I'm going to help them over here on this side you see I don't have to run away from everything you just have to position yourself on the front lines in a good way like I'm, I'm still going getting kills but you see since I'm at the front lines so is my team and that makes it a lot easier for us it's gonna make it the enemies a lot harder to push up to the throne so when I actually do need to retreat, if I get overrun, 
I have a lot more time. Like, for example, if I was getting overrun right now, hell yeah, I'd run back here. I'd be safe here for 50 seconds, no problem. I can sit here for 50 seconds and be totally fine. But when I when it was like five minutes left, you don't want to sit back there. Look at this. The more you move around, the more you're gonna not you're, less you're gonna run the risk of getting um, trapped in a corner, and that's the worst thing you can do on this map is get trapped in a corner. Yeah, and a little bit of fire. Not nuts, nothing. Look at this. Nobody's over here. Let's go. You know what? Let's do something fun. I'm just gonna run out into the. Oh, <laughs> that was uh, oh, you didn't see that. <laughs> oh man, that ballista almost ended uh, a perfect run. <laughs> Man, I was really taunting that ballista guy. I'm surprised that did not one shot me. <laughs> but yep, that was the that was the Duke guide. I'll, I'll have to go through and see if what I said actually made any sense. But not not that difficult. I think, uh, in my opinion, Duke's a lot easier than the the Rudhelm one.